Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for September 13th to the 19th. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. All right. You guys can also follow me on Instagram. I do post different readings over there, so definitely follow me there if you are interested in that. All right. So... Libra, we have Temple Path, number 12, and then we have Financial Constraints, number 13. Bottom of the deck, we have Thinking Man, number 46. <clears throat> so the Thinking Man for me in this deck is the King of Swords. Let's see, what else is coming up for Libra? Okay, we have Aspen Spirit, Courage. Bluebird Spirit, Happiness, and Mystic Meadow Sanctuary. 26, 3, and 7. Okay. And then we have Transformation at the bottom. So I do feel like there's a change that you're trying to... It's almost like maybe you're walking away or you're thinking about walking away from something. You're trying to plan, I almost feel like, for your future is kind of what I'm getting. Um, like, I feel like there's something missing with this financial constraints. I feel like there's something missing or there's a, a sense of lack in your life that um, you feel like maybe, you know, you're trying to, some of you are questioning whether you're on the right path, like you're questioning whether you're in the right space. I do feel like you're going through a transformation. You're kind of like gonna be blossoming a little bit here. Um, in stepping into a better space for yourself, but <clears throat> there's something you're thinking about th of something that you feel like you maybe don't have. So we have the Five of Wands reverse, we have the Four of Swords, the King of Swords. So there's that King of Swords again. Current energy with the Seven of Wands, the Tower, and the Devil. Near future with the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. So you're definitely thinking a lot about something kind of in your head a little bit. I kind of feel like though you've kind of removed yourself from a situation and there's an element of like with this tower in the center of your of your reading here it's like just let it fall just go for it some of you are trying to hold on to something but it's like you don't really have a choice it has to go so with the five of wands reverse the four of swords the king of swords it's like you've cut yourself free from some sort of conflict or drama or a situation people whatever this five of wands is to you it's like you've let that go whatever has been challenging or created some sort of conflict in your life you've you've removed yourself from that um and in the current situation with the seven of wands the tower and the devil so like some of you are still trying to hold on to something um, or control how an outcome happens. But for others of you, it's like, there's like a, a sense of like destruction where you're just like, fuck it, just let it go. You know what I mean? It's like, you're fighting for yourself. There's like an element of, it's not that you're giving up by saying that, it's actually more of like, you coming into more control of your own situation because you're like, I don't care, I don't need it. I don't need that. It's an interesting energy. Um, and then we have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. So there's something new coming in here after this Tower Falls. Um, there actually might be a little bit more of a sense of stability. Like, the Tower is just change, right? Um, but some of you are resisting that change. But in the near future, I do see an opportunity coming in here for you. Some of you are going to question it with that Two of Pentacles. Others of you, though, it might actually you might actually see it being able to provide you more stability. Because I do actually feel like it's leading you to a better place with that Six of Swords. So let's see what this Five of Wands in Reverse is here for you in the recent past. What's this Five of Wands reversed in the recent past for Libra? The Fool, yeah, you left it. Whatever that was, it's something that you walked away from or that you were like, I'm not going to engage in that. Some of you was a relationship, Two of Cups. Could have removed yourself from a, a relationship or maybe even a partnership of some sort. Whether that's like in your, your career, maybe your, your job is a partnership, right? Knight of Wands, it's like you you moved on. Some of you just didn't like where it was going or it's, it almost stressed you out more to be in, involved in it. 
Uh, let's see what this Seven of Wands is here in the current energy. What's this Seven of Wands for Libra in the current energy? Eight of Cups. What's the Tower for Libra? The Star. And what's the Devil here? The High Priestess. Sorry, my sister's dog's just like <laughs> rolling around. Um, with the Five of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, there, you're in this place of conflict, I feel, possibly this week. I, f I do feel as though, like, it's inevitable. Like, it's meant for something to fall apart. It's not meant to stay the way it is with the with the tower and the star. It's leading you in the direction you're actually supposed to be going into. Um, but I do feel like some of you are, are fighting your intuition or you maybe can't see that this change is a good thing because your intuition could be blocked. Um... Because some of you are resisting kind of moving forward or walking away from a situation. There's some sort of path, the temple path, eight of eight of cups. The eight of cups can be walking away, but I've also heard it be like a, a card of like your spiritual journey, like moving through the spiritual um, path to go find the nine of cups, to go find the ten of cups, right? The, that happiness. And so some of you are fighting for that. You, you're like, yep, I don't need this. And others of you um, may be in the space of, like resisting the change even though it's meant for you with that star energy and it's, it's causing some sort of conflict within you five of swords king of swords so there's some sort of like conflict or change but i feel like it's because there's still something missing you're, you're meant to step into this newer place into this place of happiness and not constraint you just have to have that courage to to, to move forward in it and i feel like that seven of wands can be that right that seven of wands is fighting for ourselves, fighting for what we want, standing up for ourselves. And with the eight of cups, that can also be a reflection of the, that as well, where it's like, this isn't serving me. I need to move on. So there's some sort of big tower moment that's creating a change, but in a positive way for you this week, Libra. Um, it could actually be freeing you with the devil and the high priestess. It may actually be freeing you from that energy. So let's see what this two of pentacles is in the near future for Libra. What's this two of pentacles? Well, that's way too many. Clarify the two of pentacles, please. Less cards. So we have justice, yeah. Harmony, balance. And we have the world. Yeah, like it's like you're able to move on. Judgment, making a decision. Some of you would just have a decision with the two of pentacles justice and judgment it's like you need to make a decision of whether you're going to move forward to something new in the new f near future i feel like there's a change happening in your current situation like your current week and in the near future it's like then there's going to be an opportunity presented and then you really have to make the choice i almost feel like this week is more of like a spiritual realization that you need to go out and fight for what you want and change your situation so that you're more in alignment there is like an element with that tower and the star of like ascension transformation right what's this six of uh, swords three of wands page of pentacles what you what you've been waiting for the opportunity or the things that you've been trying to manifest into your life i feel like it's here it's whether you're going to go for it yeah three of wands and then the four of wands the four of wands is the manifestation right uh, the three of wands is waiting for it to come in. The four of wands is like, it's here. Some of you, it's love. It's a person. Others of you, it's just, it's an opportunity. You could be learning something new. You could be going to school, um, starting just like a new job even. What's this ace of wands here? It's, it sparks, it, it creates some sort of spark, but in a good way, right? It sparks your excitement again. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, Six of Swords. You're headed to a better place here with something new. Again, some of you that's love, others of you, it's just a it's just a new place that you're in, maybe a new job, something that piques your interest. So I feel like <clears throat> you're ascending. I kind of feel like for some of you, you don't really have a choice as in like the universe is pushing you into this new place maybe because you've been resisting it for so long. So they're either doing that by 
creating some sort of change or choice in your life that you have to make, like you don't have an option, somebody's presenting you with a choice, or it's like I can no longer stay. It's, it's making you so uncomfortable that you have to leave. Because some of you feel really restricted and you're like, I gotta free myself from this. So let's see what your spirit animal wisdom card is, Libra. <clears throat> we have, <clears throat> sorry, we have the dog. Every once in a while my voice does this. We have divine service. How can you serve yourself better? So making choices that, that serve you and support you and your mission and your life and your path and that don't keep you stuck in this financial constraint. Like, that always makes me think of the five of pentacles, a place of lack, a place of like not feeling confident in yourself. Um, it's like you need to find your own sanctuary that makes you happy and you know you have to have the courage to move towards it and go through this transformation. I feel like it's on your mind. I feel like you're already aware of this situation, um, but maybe you've been trying to avoid it a little bit. And I feel like it's this now it's like it's unavoidable. We have the dear trust. Approach the situation with a light heart. So this is at the bottom of the deck. So trust your intuition, especially if you're being called in a specific direction. Trust your intuition, right? Because I feel like things are going to work out for you here, Libra. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, just not resisting it so much. Like just follow the intuition, follow what the path that's opening up for you. Because I feel like with the star, there's definitely something opening up here for you that's meant for you. Um, and again, is going to make you really happy with the Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. So that is what I have for you, Libra. Hopefully that is helpful for you guys. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out your other signs. But I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.